Greetings, Space Capers, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command or Empire's Plus Mod. I am Rear Admiral Tarak of the Carrier Purview, along with our heavy battlecruiser escort, the Injunction, as we continue our war of pacification against the Gorn Confederation. Yes, as you can see, we have made major significant inroads and are really starting to stomp down and crush this southern pocket here. We are probably going to start running into more Federation forces, though uh, we will... Well, we're not going to avoid them, really. I mean, they're, they're an easier fight to do, but uh, we'll deal with things as they come. So let's get back down to the, uh, the small layer, and we'll realize that we just recently managed to neutralize a planet, so if we hurry, we might catch it and take the whole darn thing. We are going to have to spend quite a bit of cash in order to restock our fighters, but that is pretty much stock and trade for a carrier. So, missions, homeworld assault, let's rock and roll. Let's see what we have to play with here. And it's, yep, ready, rock. So hit that red alert, we'll pop on over to the purview and start things a rolling. Increase speed, we've got a dreadnought and a heavy cruiser. We are supported by an HBDX or whatever. Uh, the w the Wormicon? Wyverncon? The pre Protector? The Camillicon? And the Tricericon. So, a lot of conventions going on in this part of the area. Uh, okay. Uh, DNX, so that's not that dangerous, and the BCH, which definitely could be pretty dangerous. In any event, we are going to try and sort of slow roll this. We don't want to get in there too quickly. Uh, we want to let them, you know, duke it out ahead of us with their big heavy plasma armaments. The planet itself is a... let's see if we can't find it. <sighs> oh, sorry. Clearly it's quite late. It is a PL-0. I have no idea if that is armed or not, but another two ships have shown up. Two light cruisers. They are a CVAZ and a CVAZ. So nothing too spectacular on there. Let's take a look at this dreadnought. It looks like every single other Gorn ship. Foolish me for assuming otherwise. First of our sensor decoys is prepped and ready to launch. So let's get the second one going because, you know, this is going to get ugly. There's really no other way to put it. This is going to get ugly. It's going to go south very fast. And hopefully we're not at the forefront when it does. So we'll sort of swing in behind the protector here. Our uh, small, the Wormicon? Wormicon? Not sure which. How do you pronounce, is it Wyvern or Worm? Because I've heard people try and tell me it's both ways. Of course, these people aren't always the most knowledgeable when it comes to these things, but, uh, well, you know, they try. Uh, do we get more forces? No, the uh, they just released a couple of uh, a couple of BF pseudo fires, and we will try and keep the handle on the yawns here. After all, it's not like this is a boring battle. Well, actually, we're kind of doing loops in the background, so maybe it is, and maybe my body is just naturally reacting to those things. There goes the plasma flying out, massive barrage of it. Uh, if the Wivercon doesn't, what in the heck? That was so pointless. That was so incredibly pointless. Why would you do that? I, I don't even really know how to respond to that. He tanked every single shot and just, like, killed himself. Things are about to get ugly and fast, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we've got another massive blast of incoming plasma. He has stopped in order to absorb it, but eesh, things are not going to end well over here. Of that, I am fairly certain. So let's get the fighters rolling. Of course, need to grab another weasel. We're going to flood him with fighters. It's the Reptilicon. He has managed to come right in front of us. So let's get down involved with this guy. So we've managed to blow a little bit of a hole open in him. He does have two type R two R type plasma torpedoes, which does make him dangerous, so he is definitely a priority target. We're gonna get in nice and tight. Come on, don't do that. Don't harm my own fighters because you've decided to go nuts. And yeah, all our weapons fired on him didn't really cause that much damage. We should try and loop on the outside of this fight though. If we get involved too close, well things will go bad. Reptilicon has lost his rear shields, he's lost all of his starboard shielding really, except for the forward one. Uh, we're not doing all that great either. Our forward starboard shield is uh, offline at this point. Let's pop over here, take a look at the uh, carrier, let our caveats do their nasty work, and 
looks like he underloaded and only got one good shot in. The, uh, the enemy Dreadnought is not doing particularly well. We, on the other hand, are looping on the outside. Injunction might not make it through this fight. Okay, so we got the carrier. Let's get the fighters back in the play. They're going to be right in the middle of things, so it could get ugly. Don't have a shot yet with our, uh, with our BBD. You. Let's see if we can't remove that, uh, D-type plasma torpedo from the equation for a bit. We did not. The Triceracon is still up and fighting through this fight. Oh boy. Please tell me Injunction has a wild weasel. He does. Okay, so he'll be relatively safe. We've killed another one with our fighters, but we probably got to get these guys back pretty soon. So, fighter squadrons. Everybody come home. We need restocks. We need reloads. Come on, take these systems offline. Okay, one, two. Come on. Three, four. Everybody's home. Okay, let's pull out pull out of this area. We don't want to be too close to this fight. Uh, do we have a starboard plasma torpedo? We do! Ha ha! Looks like he uh, plasma anchored him, except he didn't have any, you know, plasma to anchor him with. So that's another one down. Uh, you're friendly, so not a danger to us. You are also friendly. You're the enemy! Uh, all up and select. Anything we can get down his throat? Excellent. Continue to... Uh, no, we'll, we'll push out once again. We don't want to get too close after all. Things can get dangerous when we do that. Injunction is still alive, which is excellent. And continue our turn. Oh, we get a plasma torpedo firing back towards him. Let's see what he does with that. He's now got an R-type torpedo heading his way, so he's either gonna... He'll wild wheels it. So he's sacrificed his initiative. You know... Not that he has much choice at this matter. Because it was either that or probably die. Let's see if we can't bring around the uh, PPD for a final good shot. I'd like to order Injunction to sort of, you know, get away from the incoming fire. Please don't be firing at an Injunction. No! No! It's the Injunction down! Oh god, that's a crushing moral loss. The injunction is dead. It's been with us for so long that... Wow. That is just painful. Like, we always kind of joked early on that it was a dumb name, but it was a great ship and it survived so much. And just finally it... it cracked out of the pressure. That last plasma torpedo ended up killing it. And then we annihilated who killed him. So, wow. That is... That hits you right there in the feels, man. I'm... I'm a little bit broken up. I am legitimately a little bit broken up by it. Wow. <sighs> we will remember all the good times that we had with Injunction. Swooping through enemy lines. The first time we used a PPD to annihilate things. If I were a more, you know, conscientious editor, I would, like, insert, like, a montage here. But I'm not. Uh, we will have to remember him in spirit. So, let's slow down time. Let's start to slow down the ship. After all, we don't want to fly into this thing. Bump. 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 So we're going to close into a distance of 4.5-ish. Uh, maybe a little bit farther away, actually. Because we don't want to be within range of those Phaser 3s. Not that they'll probably, you know, do anything against us. Uh, 13 survivors left on the planet. We don't want to be within the range of the Phaser 3s that this planet has. But, uh, we also want to, uh, be as close as we can to do the maximum amount of damage that we can. You know, typical siege stuff. So we'll stop right here, because I'm... I think it's range of 4. That is the, uh, the maximum range of a PPD. Or the minimum range of a PPD. The maximum range is like 20, 30 at this point. So we'll just keep ki shooting, blasting the planet. This is your punishment for destroying injunction like that. Wow, just a ton of damage got taken. All Marines go. Oh, we are slightly out of range. Uh, more the fool lie. 
There we go. All the Marines going over. We'll continue to bombard and blast the surface. So we have like seven, eight transporters. The Death Beast. That is the name of this planet, apparently. GCS Death Beast. And I'm going to have to try and remember that my game speed is set to 6 and not 7. 6 being a little bit lower than, you know, normal human people time. Well, we made 670 out of this. And we didn't capture it? What? That's frustrating. Uh, shipyard, supply. Supply is what we want. Fighters. Good, all the fighters are in excellent condition. We need an additional... One of those, come over here, I'd like 15 of these. We're good with the mines, don't mind. Let's go to the shipyard, we have 3605, almost enough to buy CAX, which would be two R-type torpedoes and a single uh, PPD, which is not quite what we want, we want a CCX or an XCA, a proper X-ship. An advanced cruiser comes with four PPDs, two phaser, heavy phaser A's, two heavy phaser B's, a bunch of Phaser X's, and two Plasma D's, and two Plasma S's, so this this would actually be pretty cool. Uh, I'll be interested in getting you. Unfortunately, I bought a little bit of something, so I can't quite afford you. I still wouldn't be able to, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Mission! Shipyard Assault. All alone, so, you know, not great. But uh, we need to save up about 4,000-something so that we can pick up one of these brand new X-type vessels. It's a Dreadnought. Crap. Uh, we only brought a monster. They have two dreadnoughts! No! Not cool, game. First you take injunction from me, and now you send two dreadnoughts up against me along with Command Cruiser. And all you give me is a monster. That ain't cool. Game? I call shenanigans. Seriously? Two dreadnoughts. Where did they come with them? So we're just gonna run away... Because it is the only way... Seriously, there there would be no way for us to win. Even with our fantastic fighter complement, I mean, they could just annihilate our fighters step by step. So, we're gone. Toodles. Whoosh. This is actually not the heaviest dreadnought I've ever seen, but those D-type plasma torpedoes would definitely be a problem. The one bright side in this is we no longer have to constantly switch over to the Burview. I mean, you know, for whatever that's worth to you. Pop, pop, can you give us a mission that is, like, acceptable to win this? Give me something where I don't have to fight a Dreadnought and we'll be happy. Red alert! Slow down time! It's the... who is it? Is it the Klingons or the Romulans? It's the Klingons! It's a D5D. Interesting. Okay. So let's get a Wild Weasel up prepped and uh, ready. Why are we not going faster? And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Wild well, Weasel prepped. Forward shield to the reinforcements, please. And who are we facing? I have no idea. We can't see them quite yet. There's nothing on board for us to steal, so there is that. Let's increase the speed. Enemy reveals himself. He is a heavy cruiser. We'll send a probe his way to figure out what kind of heavy cruiser he is. And whether or not he's dangerous. He is... Yeah, pretty dangerous to us. So, fighter squadrons. One, two, three, four. Off to go kill things. You have nothing that I want. He has also fired his first plasma blast at that rather than I. So now we're going to slow down and we will go to normal human speed. So he's fired his plasma torpedoes at the D5D. Which is cool. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll totally... That's totally great with as far as I'm concerned. Because now I don't have to deal with it. We'll also weaken his forward shields. And let the caveats come in. Boom. Most of his shielding is down. Most of his shielding is down. And he's dead. Yeah. That's revenge for the for the injection. You get up, get away. We, we don't want you here. You jerk face. Yeah, that's that's the best insult I've got for him. He's in a he's a million floating piece, piles of ash. I don't care. The insult is fine. Uh, go to a mission here. <laughs> no supply. Fighters, uh, fighters do need a bit of TLC because they took damage from you know the big bad enemy. We're at 3723. It's not the 444 whatever that we need. So uh, let's keep pushing. Can I zoom out? Is the map updated? It is not yet updated. Okay, which is fine. 
you know, not really, but... So we are now holding this planet, this station, and this planet, so let's push down here. We'll wipe out these four tiles. Oh, we got another one. The corn are just all over the place. Like, seriously, they, they're they everywhere. Set up a patrol. Oop. Straining the red alert key. Red alert! There we go. Let's convert a shuttle right away. I still haven't quite figured out the actual speed this carrier is supposed to travel at. These I-type torpedoes make that a little bit difficult to figure out at times. Let's go to the forward shield. Let us maximize that. Reinforce. Uh, come over to the shuttle bay. I really gotta look up the hotkey for this. And increase speed on time. No targets. There we go. It's a light cruiser. So, Liren light cruiser? CVAZ, attacking an XDD. Let's zoom over here. I think it's a Laren ship. I mean, is it Gorn? Probe, please. What is he? I have no idea. I've never seen this design before. It is a Gorn ship. He's got... It's a plasma snare. When he fires it at me, he's going to... Um, He'll watch him call it. When he fires at me, what'll end up happening is he'll uh I will have to spend more power in order to move. So basically the idea is you can't run away if we've snared you. That's that's literally the concept behind it. There's also uh the other plasma type that got invented was the plasma X, which is the fat <laughs> not fat plasma. Yes, the fat plasma! So the, uh, the fast plasma, which of course does wonderful things, uh, fi flying much faster than normal plasma. However, it also dissipates faster than normal plasma. Wow, you took more firepower than a battle cruiser. That was impressive. Can I get you all back before the game ends? No. It's probably going to be expensive to replace all those fighters. Hopefully I get a lot of cash for this, but I don't think I will. Probably 127? What is it actually going to show me? 228! Okay, so that might cover our fighter expenses. Pop up here. Mission. Patrol. Rock and roll. Oh, we have enough... Oh, we've got enough prestige in order to buy our uh, XCA. Prepare so, prepare for battle. All systems armed and ready to rock. Prep a wild weasel. Reinforce the forward shields. Excellent work. Uh, did we unreinforce the forward shields? Because that would be annoying. You see, the the weird thing is that I've found with this... Because every single HUD is different. I mean, we've seen by now the Federation HUD is different from the Klingon HUD, which is different from the ISC HUD, which is different from everybody's HUD. And I've noticed that I hit this normal button an awful lot rather than, you know, clicking other things that I mean to actually click, like the reinforce button. And uh, I'm assuming that's just because of the way this HUD is made out to be. We'll send a probe your way, figure out what you are packing. Hopefully nothing all that dangerous. Uh, according to this, however, you are a CCHX. That's a heavy command cruiser. Uh, I don't know if that's how the Gorn say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. One, two, three, four. All fighters released. Increase speed on time, increase speed of vessel. Our first wild weasel is ready. Let's, of course, prep a second wild weasel. Actually, we're going to go back to normal people time, and I'm going to test something that I'm not sure if it works. And you can return. And you can come home. Okay, now, the reason why I'm bringing them home is because they are currently at, like, you know, three and one ship. So if I bring them home and then relaunch them, will that bring them back at full health? Because that would be pretty cool. And, you know, super useful. So we shall... launch. And come on, be lucky. Nope. No. They figured it out. They're not going to let me cheat. Oh boy. So we've got to worry about his uh, his PFs. He's got two of them, which he has launched behind the ship. So, here's what we can do. 
Attack. 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 Weasel. So here's my hope. My hope is fervently that don't shoot at the plasma, guys. Don't shoot at the plasma. There's no reason to do that. Attack. I know he was waiting for that, but, you know, it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. So we'll take it on. Oh, that's a fake? All up and select. Fire down the throat. Didn't work. Uh, we tried. We did. So we're going to have to take a couple of shots from, you know, these guys. Aha! I'll stop. So, uh, fighters, can, can you kill him? Because if you kill him, these guys blow up. Fun fact. You know, it's, uh, it's like load-bearing bosses. They can't survive outside of an environment that, uh, you know, carries them. All systems select. See? There they go. Did I lose my fighter squadrons? Yes, we lost a fighter squadron. We knew it was going to happen, but we figured it was going to happen. I figured it was going to happen. Some of you may not have, but I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you did. Because it makes sense that, uh, you know, single uh, health fighter right next to an enemy ship will explode when that ship explodes. So we are going to pull right back into dock, and we're going to go to Shipyard. And we're looking for an XCA or an XCC. I don't know if they make XCCs, but, you know, it would be interesting. And... They don't have it. It's not here at the dockyard. Oh, nope, there it is. Bye. The heavy battle cruiser... Averment. Averment. Averment, that's it. Yes, that will be the name. The Averment. So we need 144 for that. 252. 360. And three shuttles. Thank you. So we have uh, once again brought ourselves up to uh, multiple ships again. The Injunction has now been replaced by the Averment, an XCA, the first of our X ships that we've managed to actually purchase. And, uh, yeah, things could be looking up. Uh, but something tells me, and I think I might be right, I might be wrong, because I don't quite have, like, an egg timer that I keep next to me, but it's the end of an episode, ladies and gentlemen. So we have managed to go through Gorn Space, we have smashed the opposition, we have crushed another homeworld, and there's probably another homeworld to come. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the Injunction, but we have gained the Averment... Definitely the war is going in our favor as we steadily crush down this southern pocket of Gorn. There's only four Gorn sectors down here, although this one is a planet and a station. And then we'll head back up north to finish dealing the crushing blow to the rest of the Empire. Anyway, I am now full Admiral Tirak of the Carrier Purview. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to receive a notification every single time that I post a video at the same time every day, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, leave a comment, say something, say hi to all your friends who watch with us, and I will see you all next time.